Mar just wants to space aerials on Luigi Shield so he can't get grabbed. Hopefully it won't be either frame data won't be there, it'll be too far. But you know, once he gets that grab, you know, Luigi kinda goes in. Or just any opening, Luigi will just kinda go in. You know what my favorite part of this matchup is, no matter what yeah. character you play? Is it, it's is it your boy X following the stream? Uh, that's that's a good X. one. Yeah, yeah, boy following what's, the stream. What's your, what's your favorite part? My favorite part, for sure, with any character, is baiting Luigi to hit you with something other than grab at low percent. Mm. Oh, that's I do that a lot, too. I'll literally just stand on a platform and wait for them to hit me. Just so I can't get zero to death. <laughs> <laughs> it's always the play. <laughs> Despite that, honestly, pretty even game so far. Uh, Ziggleth has not gotten a single grab thus far, but uh, uh, 13 doing some really good stuff uh, with the fencing here. Still Just managing to forth, really. find damage though, despite not finding the grabs. Mm -hmm. We're seeing a lot of fox trotting back and forth uh, from Ziggleth here, just trying to get that opening. Uh, 13 just hunker down on this platform right now. I mean, Ziggleth trying to get a parry, but just too much range there. Like, 13's really holding down this ledge. And oh, no. Uh, yeah, I'm talking about holding down a ledge. Um, <laughs> so that's a that's a that's an unforced error from Ziggleth. Um, it doesn't oh, find it down okay. there. That could have been disastrous for Ziggleth. And I, I love the way that, well, I mean, I love the way that 13 is playing this, which make, which means that one of us loves the way that 13 is playing. 13 basically is saying like, all right, if I want to make, if I want to stay in winners, I have to commit to just not having fun for the next 15 minutes. <laughs> like, that's what it's going to take. I'm just going to have to sit on those platforms and not have fun and just like get my damage. Uh, you know, stray hit here and there. Um, keep this green menace oh, away. Look at that tipper. Let's talk about earlier. Mmm, that move is great. Yep. That is oh, the okay. Oh. <laughs> That's not all right. All right. A lot of people holding down at ledge today. <laughs> no kidding. Oh, and then so okay, so no fear. Just go straight back down into that drop zone. Like, buddy. <laughs> Did you not see what happened the last time? <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, a, a ton of percent you know, that's here. Confidence, on the though. That's confidence, though. You love to see it. Yeah, it, it really is. I mean, I think 13 hasn't really backed off from their game plan at all. Oh my gosh, oh, even that, that high up B was just. Yeah, ooh. it's been. 13's game plan is like, just like what I said earlier, it's been a lot of like short off aerials, space on shield, so Luigi doesn't really have an answer for it and just kind of has to find his way in. Mm -hmm. I think one thing uh, Ziggler could be doing is maybe using. Like short hop there to try to intercept Marth in the air with the with the plunger. Maybe yeah, or like short hop fireball just to just to try to put some pressure in like that airspace to prevent Marth from like continuing the pressure of shield for free like that. Mm, yeah, 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 exactly. Or even some really hard commitments with like a dash and read up smash, dash and read up tilt. Like you, you have to understand that Marth is going to be above you. That dash attack that Ziggler yeah. committed to and died for is not going to work if Marth is above you. Free Hayden, uh, thank you so much for the follow. We greatly appreciate it. Love your love your classical work, Hayden. <laughs> let's go, Hayden. Yeah, let's go, Hayden. Oh, I like that beer first. That's cute. Yeah, I, it, the third has been doing a lot of cute stuff. Um, there's a there's some way bound side bees. Ooh, that's cute too. Um, very very F -mash. And now this is this game is way closer. Then 13 oh, yeah, wait a minute, just one hit. So, oh, if no. I were 13, I would I would not be approaching right now. I would be backing off. I would be on yeah. this platform. I'd be like, yo, Luigi, you're gonna have to earn this one, all right, bud? <laughs> Remember the plan. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, six of the plan and no one gets hurt. <laughs> Yeah, oh, I can no. just like imagine like a picture of like his daughter or something, just like do it for <laughs> her, you know, like just exactly. <laughs> yeah, for her. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, rolling your Luigi so <laughs> All right, even percents looking more like the beginning oh of the game right now, except this time, uh, thirteen <gasps> is the one trapped at the ledge. Alright. Uh, oh, I like that. Remember the plan. 
Their team definitely remember the plan here. Keeping Luigi away from center stage. Oh my god. Oh. You don't okay, you have to you have to win this game now because you don't get another one of those for free. You're not gonna fall out of Dombi again. Good job not buffering the Wi-Fi roll in on that tech. Mm, yeah. Alright, landing in with these nares. Can you finish this edge edge guard? Okay. Oh, okay, that was good, because last time I rolled out, and that's oh, the option yeah. you read. And so I rolled in. No! Oh, what? What? So that's actually a really tough situation, right? Because the, the wind box will pull you into that move, uh, and I think that's what caught 13 off guard, right? Because I think 13 could have recognized that he was going to get hit by that and DI'd to live that move. I really do yeah. think so. I think it's just the wind box pulling them in just really caught him off guard there and unfortunately losing the stock because of it uh 13 had a pretty solid game plan but not a lot of grabbing from ziglet and still getting that w game one 13's gonna yeah, I, out. I think 13 just played uh, just had a like you said good game plan for playing around the grab and ziglet never really stopped him from trying to do that but the execution mm -hmm. on that game plan kind of i don't know maybe it was nerves on the third stock kind of Maybe like fell apart just a little bit. Like still didn't get grabbed, but like you also, you started getting hits from Luigi here or there, and eventually you know you build a percent out of the cyclo. And that mm -hmm. was also about like maybe it, that felt like three straight minutes without a tipper. I like I know it wasn't, but like that's what it felt like. Yeah, um, it definitely felt like a tipper drought. It, yeah, like it's, it's Mart like Mart players will tell you this is like this happens all the time. Uh, like, get them to kill percent into no tip. Yeah, Qu just... your quota runs out. Exactly. Either way, though, we're going back to small battlefield. Definitely not a stage thing, saying 13. Uh, not opting to see if they can do something different on another stage, but Ziggler is suddenly getting conversions here. Those up tilts into up airs, the Zare into dash attack. I mean, Ziggler's so kind of running it of right now. You don't need a grab necessarily as Luigi to tack on this percent. You just need the right stray hit and the right follow-up. Oh, good DI. That might have been the first grab of the set. Oh my god. All right, that up tilt. I like that up tilt to punish the 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 uppy or the, the the cyclone because nothing Marth has at that range is really going to kill. So you just kind of opt for a juggle with Marth is really good at, especially against Luigi. You just have to read the cyclone and then you should be good. Mm -hmm. That's like the one thing you have to worry about. Exactly. 13, not backing off, 142%, trying to get a really tight edge guard here. I mean, you see Ziggler opt for these short missiles pretty often. I wonder uh, if 13's going to call that out with a forward air or a counter or something soon. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, yeah, no. Lid is a bit too early. Never actually got the hitbox out to pressure Luigi and just got grabbed for your troubles. Yeah, that stage just got unclogged completely. No characters on there anymore. Yeah, really looking for that tipper back here. Yeah, really trying to find it. Because it's like that that low hitbox is like Marth's maybe like maybe Marth's best tipper for hitting like close to his body. Um Oh but man, he like 13 cannot buy a kill move right there now. It is, yeah. See that's exactly what you're talking about, that. That low tipper hitbox. Good for hitting opponents that are kinda close to you. Uh-huh. And still getting the tipper. Yeah, Marth's definitely thanking their stars for that patch. Uh, <laughs> Dude, kidding, yeah. Tipper back air was practically non-existent pre-patch. Oh, Man, no. I don't know. I don't even know anymore. That, that's just the Luigi. That's just the Luigi, man. You gotta mix that's up your the... DI on that and hope that they guess wrong. <laughs> Straight up, that's a set winner. Yeah? Like, you get, like, you, like, up a game even stocks your opponent is like oh okay i just need to play super super or, like super super solid and then i can like re oh, okay. wait a minute, no wait a minute. hold soon. on 13 is still in this that linear luigi oh. recovery just not gonna cut it there and now suddenly sweating maybe a little bit of ziglet here oh no jump oh, oh still okay, makes that's it at Edgeguard, it could have been something, but uh, no, I can no, understand the need to just want to stay on stage a little bit. 13's got a thin tipper down here. 
But there it is again. Oh, yeah. Right. Dying out two times in a row, you're going to get caught by that. Ziggolit's going to be moving on here. I really honestly liked uh, the neutral adaptations in that game, too, from Ziggolit. I mean, he was kind yeah. of...